everybody. We are going majorette in today's showcase. Some of you have probably seen the second series, series two from majorette in your local Toys R Us. So we're speaking specifically to the United States. Those of you elsewhere in areas overseas, you have seen these some for a long time, some are fairly new, but we are going to go into series two for the U.S. release at Toys R Us. Three different lines, just like last time. We have the racing cars, we have the premium cars, and we have the limited edition. Let me get that in the shot. There it is. Limited edition is a little different for series two than it was for series one. We'll get into that. We're going to go ahead and just because this is what we do, we're going to move the camera right over, give ourselves a little space, and we're going to walk through the model starting with the racing cars and then I will open up one or two of each. They are in Toys R Us now if you haven't seen. Racing, this is the first series. You can see this is the Subaru WRX STI. This was released in Series 1 in blue, just plain blue. Now we have it in a very cool racing livery. Of course we're going to open this one up so let's do it. Let's just kind of see what's inside. Racing is exactly that. It is racing. There is the car. We're going to showcase them. I got my whole little thingy thing here. We'll get to that in a second. But in the card comes a poster that is folded that shows all of the cars from the racing series. Each, each subset is six cars. You can see that they are all there. We're going to look at all of those for a second. I'm going to throw the cards over here. Poster over here. I'll walk through the rest of these racing cars, Lamborghini Reventon, Re Reventon, 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 older major at casting, not my favorite, to be honest, but uh, still very cool because it is a racing car, kind of a clean deco on it, casting just is not my favorite, and I, you can always tell some of the older majorettes to, versus some of the new, Renault Alpine ZAR, some of these I can't remember if they were in series one, I don't think this one was. Others were and have new decos, but everything is fresh to this case, to this uh, to this series that's hitting that's hitting Toys R Us right now. Ford Mustang in orange and a racing deco, kind of a Mustang Boss look, which is kind of cool. Even Ford racing there on the windshield. These cars are always uh, always fully deco. Either they have the headlight piece or uh, tail lights painted in. Here's one that I think you guys will like: Porsche 918 Spider. Should we open that one up? Yeah, let's do that. Um, and last, Mercedes-Benz A-Class. This is a car you don't see in the United States, but it's quite popular elsewhere. And Majorette, which does have a very European feel to it, um, of course is going to do that one. All right, that is racing. Let's talk premium. Premium will always have opening parts. If you notice those in racing, they don't. Sometimes they do. It doesn't matter, though. It could be an opening part model like this one. It may not be, but it's just the racing deco is what makes those models part of the racing series. Premium, if they're going to be in premium, they will have opening parts. This is the obvious Chevrolet Camaro in kind of a nice burgundy red, right, with black rims. Brand new casting for 2017. Dodge SRT Viper. This has been seen, again, you guys elsewhere have seen it in uh, other countries. But this is a new casting here. I don't believe this was in the uh, in the uh, first series. Here's another new casting, one that we will definitely open right now. The Bentley Continental GTV 8S. I actually featured this quite a while ago before Toys R Us uh, got Majorette. Uh, Majorette sent me one of these Bentleys to preview. So if you go to uh, lamblegroup.com, you can see the packaging is very cool on this one. In fact, we'll uh, look at the poster too. Lamblegroup.com, search Majorette Bentley. You will see um, that feature, that photograph feature I did quite a while ago. The, mo the model's fantastic. Here's the uh, poster. You can see the artwork on the front. Jag, Camaro, Golf. There's your Viper, Range Rover, Revoke, and the Bentley. And then they even have, I didn't show that on the racing one, details on the back. How nice is that? You have to say, I mean, I, it's been interesting, guys. I, you've all kind of expressed your opinion on Majorette. Some of you are really excited about it. I've been buying everything. Some of you are buying some models. Some of you are buying no models. And 
I always appreciate everyone's comments, and I know Majorette does too, to be perfectly honest. They are reading him, good and bad, and taking everything uh, into account. You don't like the wheels? I've made that known. I'm not a huge fan of these wheels. I don't think they fit the quality of the casting. When, they, when a model looks this good, I don't think the... I don't think that the, uh, here, we'll look at that on the turntable in a second. I just don't think the the wheels live up to it. Here's the Range Rover Evoque with a tail uh, tail light there, or I'm sorry, with an opening tail, oh, I'm just blanking on the word. Um, anyway, Range Rover Evoque. Express your opinion, Volkswagen Golf, GTI in black. Maybe we'll open that one. Well, there's a couple that we're going to open. You know what? Here, let's do this. Let's open the golf. Well, we've seen the golf, right? Wasn't the golf? The golf had a racing. Yeah, it had a racing deco. We've seen this one, so we'll keep this one packaged. Racing deco from the first series. Let's open this one, though. Absolutely stunning Jag F-Type. Now, I'll tell you this. I like these wheels. If they can do more wheels like this, I... Uh, I know maybe they don't think they're proper for the Bentley, but I think they are. These packages are pretty cool. But yeah, what I was saying, express your opinion. All right, we're going to look at those here in a second, but we've got to get to the limited edition. Limited edition this time has a special paint. Could be an opening model, could may not be, but they have a special Let's not call it Spectra Flame, but let's call it a very, um, very nice kind of metallic paint. This is the Dodge Viper. So you're going to get two Vipers, the first edition in blue, the kind of candy blue, and then this fantastic limited edition in purple. Remember, the limited editions are not chase models. They're just done a little differently. There are models that were only one per case. You have to figure that out when you go to the store. I honestly don't know which of these I've shown you is going to be in the limited numbers. Here is the Nissan GTR. It was released in blue and white in the first series. Now we have it in limited edition metallic gray, green. Should we open that one? Let's do that. Ah! There is a poster, so we might as well look at that too. All right. There's all the cars from the uh, poster. We'll get to those we haven't seen yet. Camaro, GTR, and then again, details on the back. Very nice. And here's the GTR. We'll get to that in a second. All right, Chevy Camaro. We saw it in that kind of burgundy color. Now here it is in black. I kind of like those wheels too. Again, I still think they can do some major updates on the wheels, and I think, you know, maybe that will come. I know they want to be popular here in the U.S., and so your comments, good and bad, are always most worthy, most accepted, most, they're most grateful for them. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself in sentences today because I want to get through all of these cars. Here is the Ford F-150 in a beautiful green color. Opening hood, the beast. Kind of a Raptor feel to it, even though it isn't a Raptor. All right. Brand new casting. Brand new in terms of here in the U.S. This casting has been out a while in other areas, and we have showcased this, and this is another one on LambdaGroup.com. Type in Mercedes AMG GT Majorette. This showcase will come up. They've done several versions of this one. Here is the first in the U.S. We'll open that. Put that right there. And last but not least, you get two Jags as well. This is the limited edition Jaguar F-Type in metallic blue. Should we open it? Of course we should. Ugh. These are not easy. That's a good quality cardboard they use. Um, opening isn't easy. All right. We're just going to keep moving on as quickly and as fast as we can. You want to take a look at these? Let's start with the racing cars. Mentioned the Subaru WRX STI with a racing deco on it. How pretty is that? Hmm? Hmm? Pretty awesome. 
I'm trying to, yeah, there was a blue I don't have in front of me right now, but there's the blue. I love this casting. I think in, in terms of the new STI, I think this is great. Matchbox has done one. I'll say the Major 8 Majorette beats it. Um, Hot Wheels has just done the Bug Eyes um, STI. That will be in car culture soon. We'll have features on that coming up. That is that. Porsche 918 Spider. This is, again, an advantage that Majorette has is that they put full decos on it. When you get the taillights on a Porsche, when it has all that rounded look, if it's not cut up by headlights, taillights, other decos, it looks a little bubbly. This one, no. Beautiful model. So I'll take this one actually over the uh, Hot Wheels. But again, everything looks good except those wheels, in my opinion. And I appreciate that uh, Majorette's letting me be honest as well on these too. They to ask me what I think, and that's cool. All right. We mentioned the uh, premium. Let's have a look at the Jag F-Type. We've seen Hot Wheels do one. Hot Wheels has actually done one in orange, too. This one looks good with those wheels. I have no complaints about this one. Zero. Tail lights look clean. Doors don't look... You know, one of the problems with opening features, some of you expressed it, sometimes it looks like the doors are just kind of not totally aligned, well aligned with the rest of the body. That's not the case here. It looks awesome. And we'll just, you know, to share with the, uh, here's the limited edition. And the metallic, whatever you want to call it, teal. All the same details there, except this time it has a racing roundel on the side. Very cool tail lights. All right. Keeping with the British theme, here is the Premium Edition Bentley. Of this batch, I think last time I said my favorite of the batch was the, uh, of Series 1, was the Audi R8. The new generation Audi R8. I would put this one, maybe the AMG GT, but in terms of realism, this one wins. Love the Bentley in white. It looks so good, the wheels don't detract on this one, but I would, I'd take a better wheel on it. Front side, well, I don't think any side detailing, but Front and rear detailing the tail lights. I love how they did it. I'm sorry, the uh, headlights. Very, very nice casting. Last, the last two limited editions. Beautiful Nissan GTR. This is a bulky, and I'm and I mean in a good way, a bulking casting. This is not the new generation like Hot Wheels has done. Hot Wheels new, next generation or latest generation GTR is a beauty. Their last generation GTR wasn't as nice. So this one, in terms of looking for a good last generation GTR, Majorette, in terms of these kind of basic type models, Majorette wins. I mean, there's, you know, not going to like Tomica Limited Vintage or Kyosho or something, but this one's tremendous. Doors look good. Last but not least, there's the AMG GT. We've seen Hot Wheels do this one. I've actually did a go to uh, compare. I actually did a comparison Hot Wheels versus Majorette. And I'll tell you, it was a half and half. Hot Wheels did not win for its misaligned tampos, which was a disaster on the AMG GT. This one definitely wins for the headlight piece, the clean grill. But some of you liked the Hot Wheels casting better. You thought it was a little, sat a little lower and is a little better proportioned. But that's the fun. We've got options. And I think that's what makes these, uh, the having Majorette here is great. You're a big GTR fan. You want the Majorette GTR. If you like the Hot Wheels AMG better, go for the Hot Wheels. But you got options. And I think that is key. So anyway, thanks to Majorette for sending these over. Letting me preview them. Get to Toys R Us. They are there. They should be there. If they're not on the shelves, they should be. Ask your local Toys R Us team member. Um, they're out there. Tell me what you think. Leave comments down below. I appreciate everybody watching. See you tomorrow.